So, your HTML editor has this option for creating anchors. What is an anchor? Well, an anchor is a spot reserved in a web page for automatic navigation. For example, if I have a really huge article that is several thousand words long, I might create an anchor that will take readers to a particular section of the article, rather than having them scroll through it on their own. You can see that when I click this link, I am taken to an article and moved halfway down the page, right to the section that I need. Cool, huh? You cannot do this with external pages, but if you copy the text of an article into Moodle, anchors are fair game. How would I create an anchor? Let's revisit the Christopher Columbus activity we were working in in the editorial. In the Christopher Columbus module, we have a Did You Know activity with facts about Columbus, and beneath it, a link to Columbus's many articles at wikipedia.org. As you can see, the Wikipedia article is extensive, tons of information on Columbus's life and travels. Back on the main page, we specifically reference Columbus's later life and death in the Did You Know activity. I'd like students to be able to jump right to that section of the Wikipedia article if they want to read more about it. First, I need to make an anchor on the target page, the Wikipedia site. I'll edit the page contents. Then, I'll highlight the word that should serve as the anchor, in this case, his later life, which is all the way at the bottom of this article. Almost there. And there we are. Later life. I'll highlight the words, then I'll click Create Anchor. I'll need to name my anchor. Something clear, because I'll need the name later. Two things to remember. No spaces, and anchors are case sensitive. I'll click OK. Then I want to save and display the page. Before I close this page, I need to copy the URL of the Moodle resource. This can be found in the browser address bar right here. Select it, be sure you've got it all, and copy it. Then close the page. Next, I'll visit the directing page, the place from which will be directed to the anchored words. In this case, it's the Did You Know activity. I'll edit the page contents, then highlight the words that I want to serve as a link. Now if the anchor I was targeting was on the same page, like perhaps I wanted to jump to a different did you know item, I could use the link button to select my anchor from the anchors drop down menu. However, the anchor exists on a separate page, so I need to do a little finessing. First, I'll highlight the word that I want to serve as a link. Then I'll click the link button. In the URL field, I want to paste in the address of the target page that I copied. It's still on my clipboard. At the end of the address, I need to add the following text in order to have it jump to the section I want. First, the number sign, then the exact text of the anchor that I named the anchor. Remember, it's case sensitive. Give it a title and a target window. When I click OK, the word that I've selected becomes a link. Let's give it a test to see if it takes us right to the information about Columbus's later life. Voila! Think you've got it? Try creating an anchor on your own and visit this tutorial again if you get stuck.